Okay, Yahoo Fantasy Baseball 2010, the Tucson Toros group, week four, taking a look at Hunt 1981 and Lucky. They faced off this week. Uh, this matchup ended 5 4 and 1 in favor of Hunt. Hunt's now top of the league at 27 10 and 3. Fantastic start to the season, has yet to lose, uh, while Lucky has yet to pick up a win. Sits 12 25 and 3 to start off the year. Not too big of a hole considering how many teams and how competitive the league's been. But, you know, uh, looking at this, this is almost a win for Lucky considering how bad the first three weeks were and considering uh, almost managed to tie. Uh, a dead tie with the top team in the league. So Lucky, Lucky's looking a little bit better uh, in the overall. But it uh, looks like as we break down the score, uh, they split on offense 2-2-1 two, two, and one as far as the categories go. But Hunt managed to take 3 out of 5 in pitching. Pitching was the difference here. Uh, taking a look, it looks like very tight battle in multiple categories. But uh, looking at offense, it was a very rough week for Hunt. Hunt's been, you know, obviously exploded out of the gates at his top of the standings, but offensively the, the power was just not on uh, in the Hunt household. So uh, they were splitting with a team that really didn't set the lineup. So uh, offensive worries may be possibly uh, down the road for Hunt, but uh, kept things salvageable. And then, you know, by winning pitching, you know, three and two out of the five categories uh, definitely made the difference in the overall. Uh, both teams combined for just seven home runs. Very low score for two combined teams, considering a lot of the teams had more than seven homers alone uh, individually. Uh, Hunt also had a very low average, uh, hit under 230, I believe. So uh, a very rough week uh, with the bat for Hunt overall. Uh, Lucky had just two homers as a team, which is really low. Uh, multiple players hit under 200 for a batting average. So definitely some offensive concerns for Lucky. Uh, without setting the lineups and not necessarily finding the bats, uh, this could be a rough season for Lucky unless either some changes are made or, or some moves start getting made with the roster itself. Uh, Lucky had four stolen bases from Alex Rios. Definitely a great turnout uh, in the stolen bases category. Uh, but switching over to pitching, Hunt had an excellent whip, 1.08, and absolutely destroyed in Ks. Usually, you see a team, you know, playing, and when you got two teams, one sets the lineup, one doesn't. You usually see the team setting the lineup, winning wins, and possibly saves and Ks, uh, and then the other team taking ERA and whip simply because they didn't use as many pitchers or didn't go as many innings. But in this case. Uh, Hunt was able to take whip despite setting the lineup and facing a team that wasn't setting the lineup. So very impressive whip uh, from Hunt. Lucky got the shutout and saves 3-0. Uh, Hunt didn't really uh, do anything as far as relievers go. Uh, Lucky's got a decent lineup when it comes to picking up saves. So uh, it worked out in that, uh, you know, picked up one point there to keep things respectable for sure. But Hunt was clearly the winner on the pitching side of things. Another great week from Tim Lincecum for Hunt. Uh, Lincecum's been a beast for the Hunt lineup all season. Didn't pick up a win this week, which is slightly unusual for Tim Lincecum, but uh, still definitely a great week. Uh, Clayton Richard was the best player of the week for Hunt. 8 Ks and a 0 ERA, so kind of an unusual source to be picking up such good stats, but uh, definitely a great week there. Lucky's best player all week was A.J. Burnett. Uh, didn't give up a run with one win, but really the only real bright spot on the team. Uh, for this week. Lucky's still suffering because J.P. Howell and Jim Johnson are on the team, uh, but they are not playing, and they're sitting in starting slots for that roster. So uh, definitely something that the owner may want to address, uh, looking at you know trying to improve the pitching side of things, especially on a team that doesn't have a pitching bench. Uh, if you're not going to use the bench for any pitchers, you definitely want to make sure the people you've got in those slots are people who are actually playing. Uh, so, yeah, moving forward, Hunt uh, stays number one on top of the standings. Lucky sits 14th out of 16. Definitely wants to at least get to the top 12 to make the consolation playoffs. Now, obviously, we're talking playoffs this early. Uh, a little crazy. We're, we're definitely way outside the, the realm of talking playoffs, but you always want to keep an eye on that. You definitely want to don't lose touch. You definitely don't want to lose touch with, with the playoffs uh, as the season moves on. Hunt's going to get Big-time rival Waveland and Sheffield next week. Should be a great matchup. Uh, two teams that will definitely want to take each other on. And, and we're going to go back to one of the biggest rivalries in the league. Lucky's going to take on Bronx Bombers next week. That uh, sibling rivalry should be pretty big. Remember last year, Lucky 2-0 and against Bombers in the regular season. But in the Constellation Playoff Championship, Bombers took that win. 
uh, took the one that counted most. So definitely a big-time rival. We'll be looking forward to seeing that heat up again next week in Week 5.